I'm very excited to introduce Chad Shazer, who's going to discuss the Greater Cincinnati Mutual Fund. He emailed me or Facebooked me and said, this is the most exciting moment of my day, of my life. So you go, boy, Chad Shazer. Okay. Good evening, everybody. My name's Chad Shazer, and I'm going to talk about the Greater Cincinnati Mutual Fund. I want to first thank Ignite Cincinnati for this opportunity. It is the biggest moment in my life. Uh, the No Theater and the staff, thank you for having me. All of you for being here. You're all invited to hear my friend Aaron Almeshi downstairs on the ones and twos on electric guitar. Talk about talent. A couple clarifications. This mutual fund does not exist yet. Uh, when I talk about companies, I'm talking co publicly traded companies and we can buy stock in. And there's no city investing in the way I'm about to talk. So there's no precedence. This idea is fresh. How a mutual fund works, individual investors pool their assets together. They hire a mutual fund manager who invests in securities, stocks and bonds, which earn returns, and those are given back to the investors. Not all mutual funds are based on greed alone. Our mutual fund will have the social benefit of making Cincinnati a formidable job market. Other mutual funds with social agendas are Abbe Maria funds. They're Christian-based. Uh, in integrity funds are shareholder activists. If they don't like the way your company does business, they don't boycott you, they buy your company. Our success will be measured on the strength of Cincinnati's job market, our ability to make money doing this, and from this idea there will come a board of directors who will be making the decisions that lead us as Cincinnati through the next generation. If job markets are to a safari, Cincinnati's job market is a wounded gazelle. And it doesn't have to be. If we pooled our assets together and invested with the right strategy, we can become the job market lion, the hunter of jobs. Don't take my word for it. There's 7,000 jobs that left Bloomington, Ohio last year. A city of 12,000 people lost 7,000 jobs. Delta's leaving CBG, 850 jobs. What if P&G left us? You know, don't tell me it's not going to happen because you're just waiting for it to happen. So step one. How to become the job market lion? We have to invest in the companies that are profitable and providing jobs here now. Okay, once we become, we have a voice. Once we have a shareholder, we have a voice. We, we have a say on how they do business and where they do business. Step two, and this is what no city in the United States is doing. Let's go out and find the companies from around the world that are growing, put our money into those companies, and bring their jobs to Cincinnati. Okay, this is not going to be easy. Okay, and, and last, last month, there was a Chinese delegation that visited Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Detroit, and San Francisco. Our Secretary of State said, invest in Ohio, we've got great people. How about the next time they come here and say, we have an investment vehicle that has hundreds of millions of dollars to invest in your company, just bring your jobs here. And we're going to make money doing this. And the hard, the hard part about that is, we're not going to be able to invest in every company in Cincinnati, because not every company is a good investment. So what I did on, on the, the preface of a very good friend is I put 15 stocks together and I benchmarked it to the S&P. Right now, with two to three months of data, which is barely anything, I'm outperforming the S&P. I have a higher expected dividend with lower volatility. What this slide means is you can, we can do this. Uh, I'll say two personal things. If this mutual fund returns negative returns over time, then Cincinnati has bigger problems. And I can't guarantee you, I cannot guarantee you a positive rate of return, but I'm going to bring jobs to Cincinnati trying. Okay? What I need is I need a board of directors to come along with me. I need them to, 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 to be ready to make hard decisions. I need them to have vision past where mine is, and I prefer it to be with women and people of ethnicity. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Prominent Cincinnatians who have money but rather have power, Some foundations and corporations, they're invested here already. If, if the Cincinnati chapter of NAACP hasn't been heard yet, buy your seat on my board of directors and you will be heard. So that's the case. If, if we invest in future and current jobs, uh, job providers in Cincinnati will be the job market lion. We can expect a positive rate of return and there will be a board of directors who will be the most influential people in Cincinnati. A great next step, if the Chamber of Commerce could help me out by bringing the influential money managers and public CEOs back together like they did in 2006 for Invest Tri-State, but this time if they could let me have a discussion with those people and make sure this is a good idea. <laughs> Get involved with me, Cincinnatians for Greater Cincinnati Mutual Fund on Facebook, invite your friends, Greater Cincy Mutual Fund at Hotmail.com. Uh, those are the ways, hit me up. And... <laughs> So I'm wrapping up. Who do I think they're going to invest in Cincinnati? You know Chris and Bootsy are in. I mean, you know Bootsy's in. 
And if, if I get the right board of directors, I'll open it up to every one of you, and you can all own your share of Greater Cincinnati. So Cincinnati has great companies. We're going, we live and work with these companies. Let's invest in these companies. I'm going to leave you tonight with my impression of Sean Connery dying in the movie Untouchables. You know the scene where Kevin Costner comes up to him and he says, the bookkeeper, the bookkeeper's on this train. And I'm going to say to you, Cincinnati, the future, Cincinnati's future's in this plan and in my best Sean Connery. Cincinnati, what are you prepared to do? Give it up for Chad Shazer. Holy shit, I'm worn out from that speech. That was awesome. Yeah, this is what we like to hear. Get loud, audience. This is what we want to hear for the rest of the night.